Um, yeah, I feel I feel pretty comfortable now, especially we're almost about halfway through the season. Obviously, I'm probably a little bit more comfortable in midfield, but I've been playing right back a decent amount. So I think just, you know, focusing on the fundamentals, first touch, and what you're going to do with the ball before you get it. I've, having all of that, so like it lets me transition to different positions pretty easily. And then having my teammates around me, communication is so key, especially when you're moving around positions. Uh, as long as your teammates from behind and front communicating to you, then you, it's a little bit easier on how to how to play. Gotcha. Uh, and then talking to Pablo a little bit earlier, he mentioned kind of the feelings and the vibes in the locker room after taking three points on the road. What did that feel like for you guys tonight? Yeah, it felt fantastic. I think obviously in the first half and in the second half as well, we had we had a decent amount of chances and we just didn't capitalize on it. So I think, you know, going on the road and getting a point is always is always good, but getting three points is just fantastic. So the vibes in the locker room afterwards were just great. I think we've been we've been fantastic on the road and we just continue with the same mentality. Um, we're we're excited for the future. Awesome. Thank you. Sean, questions from you? Yeah, Mega, this is, I mean, normally we could ask you guys about winning on the road after every single road game, it feels like, because that's about all you do. But this is now back-to-back -back weeks. You guys have scored deep when it looked like the, that result was kind of getting a little bit away from you, talking about Justin's goal last week and then obviously Ando's goal this week. What is it in this team that mm -hmm. kind of has that belief, that sort of never-say-die attitude, or I guess to use Pablo's favorite word, mentality? Like, how do, how do you kind of get that sort of, that sort of attitude. I think you have to have that mentality and that attitude. It comes from training every single day. You know, the work we put in training, we know that if we put that work in for the whole 90 plus five, 90 plus six, however long it is, then we'll hopefully get an outcome. We'll have a better chance of getting an outcome. So we, we go into training, work as hard as we can, you know, fight, fight, fight against each other. And then obviously it's going to translate to the game. And we know that no matter what happens in the game, as long as we continue to fight, have the right mentality, be on the, uh, the front foot, then things will hopefully, hopefully in the end pay off. And I think as we continue to do that, uh, we've kind of reaped the rewards now.